and raping ex-assistant Lauren Pesicota. Is that how you say her name? Pesicota. Pesicota. Or Pesicota. Or Pesicota. At Diddy's party in a bombshell lawsuit. Fucking hell. So that same woman I spoke about in another stream, the very big boobed woman who um, was doing OF and for some reason, Ye dis you know when Ye was going through his hardcore... Um, he was going through his hardcore porn era. Do you remember? I think that was around the time when he designed the porn awards. Actually, that was actually kind of cool. the awards he designed were really cool. And I think he dressed some of the women involved or some of the women that 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 won the show. He dressed them too, so he styled the whole thing. I thought it was pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, you see, he styled it. Yeah, there you go. So there's the, here's some pictures um, that you can see here from the porn awards thing, right? You got. Um, some pictures of the ladies wearing the fucking garments and shit and then you've got some t-shirts of the merch as well i thought kanye looked amazing i thought this was really a sick outfit man wearing the desert boots right the yeah the desert boots with that navy outfit he looks incredible here man so fucking good obviously i'm assuming he did he, I, i'm assuming he created like, the whole thing even the color the hue that they used for the setting and shit it was pretty sick so this was during the time when he was in his hardcore porn era for some reason, he found that Lauren woman at, on OF or something, and he hired her to be his assistant or receptionist or something, and he paid her a crazy salary, like a million dollars a year or something. I guess he just wanted to see a really big boo, big bummed white lady at the office every day when he came in. So he just like paid for her company essentially and gave her a fake job. Right? <laughs> this is that porn era time, right? Um, so that's what he essentially did. He's a fucking crazy guy. So I think that's how he met this woman. And I said, I think I said in the last stream that this woman um, alleged at the time that Kanye was sending her loads of inappropriate text messages and shit and malarkey and bloody blah, 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 blah. I think he pushed back and said that wasn't true and that she they were in some sort of consensual polyamorous relationship with his wife and shit. I don't really know. But I guess now the update is that she's now accusing the guy of rape. So I'm not too sure if she's a clout chaser or if it really did happen. But. It's, it's it's looking spooky. It's looking spooky for my guy, yay. Kanye West drugged and raped his former assistant at a party with Diddy, she claims in a horrifying new lawsuit against the disgraced rapper. This is courtesy of the Daily Mail. Influencer and former OnlyFans star Lauren Pesciocotta sued West in June for allegedly sexually harassing and stalking her while she worked for him from 2021 to 2022. Now an 88-paged unupdated lawsuit filed on friday obtained by the daily mail makes dozens of new disturbing claims pisiokota detailed west alleged sick sexual obsession and his fetishes for also wanting to sleep with target's mothers including bianca sensori's mum. <laughs> yo there's so many sickos <laughs> yeah he's an absolute demon 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 time so bianca sensori isn't enough he also wants to fuck her mum. fucking hell do you think he wanted to also fuck chris jenner said look kim's not enough i want chris jenner fucking hell the lawsuit delves into his alleged infamous sex parties and the full horror of the neo-nazis views they're calling imagine calling imagine calling Kanye west a neo-nazi it just looks so funny on paper isn't it in black and white they could he, he you know maybe you could technically say he is from based on what he's said before right him saying that you know he's a fan of the he's a fan of mr mr adolf um <laughs> but it does just sound funny isn't it yay the neo-nazi <laughs> yay the white supremacist it's like what <laughs> okay i guess um the lawsuit delves into allegedly infamous sex parties and the full horror of the neo-Nazis' views that included a hate-filled rant and forcing staff to draw swastikas. <laughs> Imagine you being forced, you being, you know, pressured under duress to draw a swastika in the studio. It's fucking... That, that vision to me is hilarious. Like seeing somebody bawling their eyes out at a table, shaking while they fucking scribble a swastika on a bit of paper. <laughs> you could just put it down and walk out you know it's not that big of a deal but they're crying as the tears run down their face and you know splatter on a piece of paper as they scroll this swastika on the thing. 
Uh, it just sounds funny in my head. She also claimed that West promised to pay her four million dollars a year. Oh, it wasn't a million. Sorry, I was wrong. I thought she got paid a million. Ye was so infatuated with her mummy milkers that he wanted to pay her four million dollars a year. Um, uh, just to be a, what a receptionist, a glorified assistant. Fuck you now. Um, he. Uh, she also claimed that West promised to pay her four million dollars a year salary, bragged about it to Jay Z, and then wrongfully fired her and reneged on the three million dollar severance payout. West denied claims in her original lawsuit, calling them baseless and accuser of blackmail and extortion, but has yet to file defense. But in her, but uh, her most serious claim was that the years before she worked for him, he drugged and raped her, only allegedly confessing in the weeks as her boss, in last weeks as her boss. So she's saying, yay, raped her. Fuck. Or Pisciota, Pisciota, I think it's Pisciota, and it's not Pisciota, it's Pisciota, it's P-I-S-C-I-O, Pisciota, right? I think so. Anyway, let's say Lauren. Lauren claimed she met West when he invited her client and musician to a studio session and a party co-hosted with his friend, Sean Diddy Combs. Um, West announced that everyone at the event at Santa Monica Studio had a drink if they wanted to stay, and she handed a beverage by she was handed a beverage by West himself. Oh no, the drink, the drink, man! I guess Hollywood parties. Maybe it's wise if you do go to one of these freak offs and shit. If you ever was to go, which you probably shouldn't, but if you did, it's probably wise to bring your own drinks or just not to drink at all, <laughs> because you never know what these guy motherfuckers are gonna put inside it. West announced that everyone at the event at the Santa Monica studio had to drink if they wanted to stay and she was handed a beverage by West himself. Lauren after a few sips suddenly started to feel disorientated and began to slip into an altered and highly impaired state. She felt less in control of her body and speech and that is where memories of the night escape her. The next day she felt ashamed and embarrassed and she couldn't remember the evening and her musician client refused to discuss what happened. Lauren claimed that she only learned years later why her client was too traumatized to disturb and to speak about the night. God almighty. Um, after years of believing she was drugged by the studio assistant but escaped without being molested, she allegedly learned the truth from West. She claimed that not long before he fired her in November 2022, he was enraged about a comment his ex-wife made about him and Lauren having an affair while she was still married. The ex-wife's name was withheld in the lawsuit, but West's only wife beside Bianca Sensori was Kim Kardashian, who divorced him in early 2022. Lauren told West that she wanted um, Kardashian to text to clear things up with her, as it appeared as she was under the wrong impression. However, she claimed West told her she couldn't send a message denying that there was ever intimate due to what happened at the Santa Monica party. We did, we did kind of hook up a little bit one time, the lawsuit claimed West told her, then immediately proceeded to reminisce about the time he was referring to where he hooked up with Lauren after she had been drugged. Oh, I don't know what to believe, bro. I don't know what to believe. I swear, I really don't know what to believe, man. It fucking, I don't know what to believe. I really don't. Because the first lawsuit that she put together was a little bit unnecessary because it seemed like to me it seemed like to me and everybody else that she was mostly annoyed that she didn't get paid you know which is understandable right people withholding payment is fucking frustrating if you've been through that but she in in an effort to kind of get paid she included some like sexual harassment or he's sending me this texas it'd be an appropriate thing to kind of make it sound a bit spicier so that maybe yay would be you know ashamed into like kind of settling out of court that didn't happen he fired back released some statement i think that was when um what's his name uh whatever the guy was that was doing the pr publicist for him handled it shit and it kind of went away but now she's alleging rape this gets serious isn't it um it continues lauren claimed west had told kardashian they hooked up but left out the true nature and severity of what he did had kardashians been told about the truth Lauren was in fact drugged and sexually assaulted by West, she would have never made a comment. A shocked Lauren claimed that she told West that she had no memory of the night and he laughed and says, women love to stay, women love to, women love to say they don't remember. <laughs> then change the subject. <laughs> That's a very toxic line, I'm not going to lie. That's a very toxic line. Very, very toxic. 
women love to say they don't remember. <laughs> oh my god, man. <sighs> Fucking Cat Williams is right, isn't it? Cat Williams was right about the year. About this year being the the year of people truth in it and bad people being exposed and shit. Because Jesus Christ. Anyway, I guess we have to, you know, innocent to proven guilty and shit. But let's continue. Um, Lawrence lawsuit claimed West's true nature was predatory and aggressive and compulsive, vulgar, pervasive. Sorry, perverse and frighteningly calculative. It called him a premeditative and sadistic groomer who used his fame and position to feed his ins 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 insatiable sexual gratification and animalistic desires that have little boundaries. You're allowed to have animalistic desires, right? You're allowed to have them. You're just not allowed to have them with, with, without boundaries. I think you're allowed to have animalistic behaviors. It's just, you know, some of these guys, I guess, just get too, like, too enthusiastic. The lawsuit claimed he often had sex with employees and a rotating list of guests in the Yeezy company offices. <laughs> Uh, so Yeezy was just a front was just a front to fuck loads of hot Instagram girls so Ye had his own fucking um, what's that thing called again his own, his own Taz Angels in a way Yeezy Angels um, employees were ordered to construct makeshift bedrooms consisting of mattress on the floor pillows and a blanket in a room imagine you work for Ye and he's a billionaire and he then fucks you on a fucking air mattress <laughs> what what <laughs> you know like excuse me he wants to take you back to his room and by his room or take you back to his place and by his place he means a studio and by his place he means an air mattress that's on the floor um let's continue he also used the staff bathrooms and changing rooms a lawsuit claimed west had a kink for wanting to have sex with mothers of his sexual targets as well as them which he frequently talked about the lawsuit claimed <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he's he's so porn brained, isn't it? If this is true, Ye is so porn brained. Like his brain is literally just like sneakers, clothes, and Pornhub. Like that's pure porn brain to want to fuck your all your partner's fucking mums. You know, it's like what? That's like that stepmom shit. You know, mother in law shit. That all all that incestuous shit that that's super popular on most fucking porn sites. I, and I guess if you, I guess if you're on porn, if you watch porn a lot, you probably watch a lot of the trending stuff or the viral stuff. And I'd imagine a lot of that is that. So you're constantly seeing this sort of stuff, and it's corrupting and you know fucking up your brain, bro. Really fucking up your brain. Um, it continue here. Bish bash bosh, bish bash bosh. What to say here? Um, he allegedly sent Loring a screenshot on September 2022 of a text conversation between him and Bianca about wanting to have sex with his mother. I want to fuck your mum before she leaves, he wrote. According to the filing, he asked Loring, should I add, should I add, I meant, I want to, what, I want you to watch me fuck your mother? Huh. Huh. Bianca sends Loring's mum in that are game, so they actually game for that. Huh. Another time he allegedly texts Lauren on September 13, 2022 about an A-list fashion model he was determined to have sex with and requested she model for his sunglasses campaign. Is young A-list fashion model better for me than different A-list fashion model? How do I tell her I need to fuck her mum bad? Another time on June 14, 2022, he allegedly texts her about a sexual encounter with a model. I feel like you could be a spectator. Spectator, sorry. I just feel like she needs an audience, a beautiful audience. He wrote. He's he, he wants to fuck. He's crave directoring a, the fucking the cuck situation, eh? Fuck you now. Fuck you now. One time, um, Lauren informed him of a delay with Japanese work visa, and she claimed he replied with a bizarre string of texts. So I'll come to LA. I do want to see my kids. He wrote before reverted to type and. There's so much pussy in LA, I may rent a room. Take the honey pack, drink some tequila, and just take appointments. <laughs> why does that sound like a... Without the rape, why does that sound like a good night? Why does that sound like a good night to me? Without the rape, 
Why does that sound like a perfect boy evening? <laughs> uh, rent a room, take a honey pack, tequila, and just <laughs> have a revolving door of whores coming in and out of your fucking abode. I'm a great guy and a dad, but I love bad bitches and I love to fuck the shit out of, out of bad bitches and make them fall in love too. Lauren claimed Kanye used his connections at companies like Adidas and Gap to get work visas to traffic women into the US for sex. Uh oh, we're doing we're going to sex trafficking now. So basically she's alleging Ye is basically another version of Diddy. Fuck. They were given obscure job titles at his companies and had to sign NDAs about their experiences. But he was bizarrely open with Lauren and other staff about it, giving them grotesque details, always filmed it so that they could get full picture of the lawsuit claim. This I believe. This I believe because you remember when he quit Adidas? There was that clip of Ye having the last few meetings with the... Top, no, no. Is it Adidas or was it Gap? No, it was Adidas. It was Adidas. He had last meetings with Adidas. No, was it Gap? It doesn't matter. A Gap or Adidas, Ye had a last meeting with one of those people and there was a, there was a, uh, a scene in the meeting. He, was, he filmed the meeting where he's showing them porn. And I guess the reason why he was showing on the porn was because one of the executives, he said, looked like the guy that was in the porn. So he was playing his porn for these guys on loudspeaker so he could show them, hey, that guy looks like your, your colleague, doesn't he? And it's uncomfortable because he's just sitting there like showing them he's like <laughs> on landscape mode, the full phone, do you know what I mean? Full screen landscape mode. Honestly, Ye is a fucking sicker. Big up Don Dutta. Okay, it was Adidas. Big up Don Dutta. It's Adidas. Ye is a sicker, bro. Absolute sicker for doing that. Just maybe he was doing it on purpose because he went to get fired. I don't know, but that is wild. The lawsuit claimed um, Wes offered up his sexual partners, employees, and women he trafficked as gifts to his friends and colleagues, both to make himself look and feel cool and to gain an upper hand in the business negotiation. One called a gift straight from Russia. One was called a gift straight from Russia. Um, Lauren claimed that she he tried to gift her too, but without success including one time the man he offered her to an alias celebrity warned her about it. God almighty. The lawsuit detailed how West frequently hosted sex parties at hotels like Nobu in Ryokan Malibu Hotel, Beverly Hills Waldorf Astoria, and the San Cedro, or San Cedro, or San Yidro, yes, yeah, so that's San Cedro Ranch in Montecito, California. She claimed that he made up elaborate schemes to lure her and other women there, usually claiming he needed something. Ah, oh, the classic, the classic rape. Again, maybe because I've been doing the podcast too long and reading loads of accounts of, you know, dodgy guys. But this is a classic move for all scumbags, you know. So women out there should probably heed this as a warning and a red flag. If, you, if you're with somebody and they tell you, hey, I forgot something back at mine, Let's go back and quickly get it. Don't. That's the textbook sign of a of a, of a of an abuser and a rapist. That sort of like, oh, let me go get my hoodie. Come back with me. And then you go back and you don't leave. <laughs> you don't go back out again, you know? Those those are usually a sign. Again, maybe there's no other way to do it. Maybe, you know, what, what are you going to do? You're going to wait for him somewhere else and he goes back home. You know, a normal person will just make do without taking the, getting the hoodie. It's not that important to go back home and shit. You just make do what you have. But someone that wants to to leave where you're at outside in public to go back home quickly to go pick up something is usually a ruse for something else very heinous or something else very heinous. Um, often it was a sexy honey, a sexual enhancement product he allegedly took and required Lauren to always have ample supply on hand. She claimed he once openly admitted his plan was for her to bring him some so he could involve her in one of the parties. He texted her and yeah, I want you to bring the honey and stay, but it didn't work. And what you want, what what you want for your for your B day? He said. The lawsuit claimed West ever changing moods that meant he would of um, either respond to her shutting down his advances with invitations to sex parties and offers luxurious gifts or intense anger and frustration. West's career infamously went off the rails. Blah, 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 blah. So yeah, I don't know, man. What's this one called? Um, another one. Uh, Lauren's lawsuit revealed that she claimed 
where the events leading up to the outburst of how he began escalating his bigotry towards Jews. Oh, so this, yeah, oh, the famous text that got everybody fucking hot and bothered. The one that led to the cancellation. It says here from September, well, no, from October 8th, 2022. That's when it, it happened. The the downward tread and people liking yay. I'm a bit sleepy tonight, but when I wake up, I'm going to go DEFCON free on Jewish people. <laughs> Absolutely batshit insane tweet to put out, by the way. The funny thing is, I actually can't be anti-Semitic because black people are actually Jewish also. You guys have toyed with me and tried to blackball anyone who ever opposes your agenda. I love how in the end he tried to be a victim, even though he's the one that, you know, whatever. Uh, let's continue. Um, Lauren also, La Lauren's Luso lawsuit revealed what she claimed were the events leading up to the outburst. West had demanded the biggest hotel suite in L.A., but none of the places that she knew he liked were available. Lauren called her their real estate advisor, who called in a favor to secure a last-minute five-star penthouse in West Hollywood. But just 10 minutes after arriving, West stormed out of the hotel, calling Lauren in a rage, claiming the room was trash. Of course, a real estate advisor got him that trash hotel room with light blue walls because that is something a Jew would do. Ah, oh, that's hilarious. As like maybe a prank to get back to uh, uh, to get back from that tweet as a revenge, a clapback. That's hilarious if that's true. Um, so of course a real estate advisor got him that trash hotel room with light blue walls because it was something a Jew would do. West then called her again from the car to go on a vile anti-Jewish rant. The lawsuit claimed later that night she sent the infamous later that night. Sorry, he sent the infamous anti-Semitic tweet. Afterwards, he called Lauren and got her to read the tweet back to him. Because it turned him on. <laughs> Yo. If this is true, this is fucking insane. Afterwards, he called Lauren and got her to read the tweet back to him because it turned him on. What? Like, what type of kink is that? Reading back text, reading text is allowed. West sent her numerous other anti-Semitic tweets detailed in the lawsuit, many extremely vile and disturbing. The lawsuit um, claimed West's bigotry got even worse after he abruptly ended his partnership with Gap and left the shared office. He we, he moved Yeezy into one person, into an upstairs from an, an what's that? He moved Yeezy into an upstairs from an American apparel factory in South um, Central LA at the behest of his good friend and the company's founder. The lawsuit didn't name him, but explained he was forced to step down from his former company and was seriously, seriously accused of sexual harassment and misconduct. So yeah, they mean um, is it Dove? Whatever his name is from from American Apparel, Dove Charney, Dove Charney. How do you say his name? They shared passion for sex. Promptly set up Ye's office as a sex bedroom. The lawsuit claimed. As soon as the company moved in, West gathered all the staff and gave a long-winded anti-semitic racially charged threatening hate speech he took back breaths no he took heavy breaths aggressively expressed his love and admiration for the genius adolf hitler and lawsuit claimed yeah that was must that must have been a toxic time to work at easy bro he was crashing out super hard saying the most wildest shit west is on a um announce west went on to announce his infatuation with nazis and holocaust as well as utter hatred of very specific jewish people um, fucking hell. Um, he concluded his rant by declaring he was at war with Jews. Already, after the free speech, no, after the speech, he berated a young, newly hired graphic designer to draw a swastika, which he declined. But West insisted and bullied him, saying, um, it was a test and asked if he was Jewish. Sure, at that point, even if it's a person only in the club that's bullying you, that you just go home. It's not that deep, you know what I mean? Just leave. But hey, what do I know? Um, let's continue here. He included his music. No, he included his rant. Blah, blah, blah. Immediately after the speech, he the young, newly hired graphic designer. The designer stood up to West and said that he'd read about the Holocaust and couldn't accept the request. West allegedly demanded he drew he draw it and he would be fired on the spot. And eventually the designer gave in as West stood up <laughs> over him and watched. West then included, or sorry, instructed him 
to begin rendering a new Yeezy logo that he desired to be inspired by the and incorporate Hitler and the swastika symbol, according to a lawsuit. He then moved on to passing around his phone to show everyone the most offensive, disgusting, and vile sexual messages he sent to an editor in chief of the most famous publication in the world. Lawsuit claimed West often yelled Heil Hitler and performed Nazi troop what Nazi salutes around the office. <laughs> Someone comes to the office to see Kanye to talk about something. You know, how Hitler, how Hitler. Crazy. The lawsuit also claimed that West often yelled, you know, all the flipping time. He regularly compared himself to Hitler and Nazis, the filing claims. He would ask employees and guests to reveal their practicing religion. And depending on their answer, he would terminate or ask them to leave for a specific amount of time. What an absolute crazy guy. God damn. In a voice, um, if anyone voiced their true concerns or verbal or verbally disagreed with West, in a way they could risk being humiliated and immediately regretting it. You know what I mean? West spread hundreds of pieces of clothing across the floor of a large open space in the office and had clothing designers draw swastikas on them. The lawsuit claimed he said in his, to his staff, "His army," and he was Hitler. <laughs> He he told he said his staff were his army and he was the real Hitler. Jesus Christus. Um, West um, was diagnosed with bipolar, according to the sources close to his family, which contributed to his mood swings. Um, Lawrence lawsuit detailed now, occasionally after after a year. No, L Lawrence lawsuit detailed how occasionally after one too many sex parties. He would very briefly take stock of the distressful and illegal behavior and lifestyle and spend some time thinking about his family and children. <laughs> of course, you're going to have that sort of, you know, post-nut clarity, <laughs> you know, indulging in all of those fucking mad fucking things. Of course, you're going to have your fucking course. They never lasted long and his vices were returned with a vengeance. What followed were his godlike phases. He demanded that there will be no cursing, no alcohol, no sex, and all the women around him will be covered head to toe so they won't tempt him. During one of those phases in August, Lawrence lawsuit claimed he wanted her to delete her OnlyFans as he felt it would make her godlike, and he was also worried it would interfere with the U.S. you know flipping president. Lauren then began to obsessively be compare her to members of Donald Trump staff and told her she needed to be more like a woman, or more like them, sorry, and told her to contact one of them to give her tips. He said that her only fans could be the reason what you call it the reason could be the reason he could not get elected, but he admitted another reason was that it caused him too much temptation. Lauren claimed that he de she he deleted it after he produced her he promised her an extra to one million dollars. This was a contrast to what we would often brag about her only fans account to the professional business meetings that when he entered. Lauren claimed that he had that what was not only the smartest and hottest assistant of all time, but also a millionaire and an OnlyFans superstar. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Yeah, big up Z in the chat. Um, hiring an OF girl um, as an assistant, he's on serious, exactly. I've heard other people tell um, me about working for someone um, with bipolar off their meds sounds like hell yeah the era of his med i understand though because i think the meds as he said it kind of new i would say neutered him but it kind of like you know brought him down probably to a level that he didn't like and creatively creatively he wasn't maybe able to create his best work so he stopped taking them and then obviously he started to believe in himself and you know he could self-medicate and maybe if he worked out more and ate better food all this stuff can contribute to you know staving off the bpd but i guess it didn't you know that's the issue that's the main main issue and the whole thing because you know you know how it is we, we've all seen cardi in the as much as i love him we, we know how he is we know how he is she came to her social media and her taste for only fans earned a one million they said tasteful okay um yeah by itself central to the unfair dismissal part of lauren's lawsuit is her claim that she was promoted to chief of staff with four million salary she started off as an assistant receptionist and then, you know, she left as a ch chief of staff. Chief of staff. 
Yay is crazy. Her lawsuit claimed no, her lawsuit claimed this ha it happened in 2022 and was um pleased he shared the news of the associates in associates including his good time with a friend Jay-Z. Lauren um, has sent a screenshot of the exchange lawsuit confirmed. Check in Paris all weed. Um I made Lauren da 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 da. Jay-Z replied peace as well. Wishing brother the day. The same day Lauren claimed West had sent her text message confirming her salary. I'm going to give you $3 million. You are now my official Steve of stuff. Okay. I guess we'll have to wait and see what happened. Wait and see FC. Wait and see FC. But for big old Lauren, it's not looking good. It is not looking good for the situation here. It looks kind of detailed. But let's see how he responds. I guess you're innocent to proven guilty. Shit could change in the future. But it's not looking good. It's not looking good. It's not looking good so far. It really, really isn't looking good. But again, what do I know? I could be wrong. I'm just talking out of my pie hole. Nothing here is confirmed. So let's fucking see. But Jesus Christ, man. This is the year, isn't it? This is the year. This is the year that all things are being revealed. Nothing is being hidden. All secrets are being put out there and shit, etc. Etc. Et I came in this business saying I was going to expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big deviants is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. The truth is the light.